Hi everyone, this is Judy Sandrock and in this short video I'm taking you through our mid-program update and flight hardware kits that you will be receiving as part of the suborbital rocket challenge in 2022, a partnership between Blue Shift Aerospace and Max IQ Space. So let's just quickly recap where we are in our process. Um, we started off by shipping getting started uh, kits and uh, in February 2022, we ran three sessions, three Zoom workshops for those schools and participants who'd never seen an X chip before, just so that they could get up to speed and be on the same page as everybody else who's been using the kits for a number of years. Uh, we are currently in phase one, uh, developing solutions. Uh, we've been running the sessions for the K through 12 uh, groups, we've been having weekly sessions on Wednesdays. And for the university and college groups, we've, they're a little bit more ad hoc, and we've been having sessions every fortnight. These, uh, these uh, Zoom sessions are going to continue until the end of May 2022. And then after that, we're going to be doing a number of sessions where we will look very specifically at um, the application of your new flight hardware, the payloads you're looking at, whether you're actually developing some of your own chips or not that you're going to want to fly. So these uh, virtual workshops and presentations are going to be very, very payload specific um, and a lot less theoretical. Our launch is still scheduled for uh, late August in 2022. And uh, we're still looking at, uh, once we receive our kits back um, post-launch, to be able to uh, put together our presentations to be presented during World Space Week, which is always on between the 4th and the 11th of October every year. So I, uh, this is just a little bit more detail in terms of those actual workshops that were delivered. And all of them were recorded, and so you will find them on the Max IQ YouTube channel. So where are we exactly now? Um, this is actually where we are, and we have um, a picture here of C3PO who is guiding us through this process. So what we did is we did, we started off with communications, the C and C3PO. Uh, we had three sessions, a com uh, communication science, communication engineering, as well as a professional and career webinar uh, on March the 23rd. So those recordings are all available on the YouTube channel, the Max IQ YouTube channel, as well as a great video that Daniel Lee put together, where he took the slides for both the science and the engineering session. And he actually delivered those in one concise video. So that's been uploaded to, uh, to the channel. And so uh, where are we right now is that we are looking at two payload iterations. Uh, the first session being on the 30th of March, um, where we have a look at the science of payload. Then we're going to look at engineering of payload and have a, a professional career webinar. Uh, as you can see from the schedule here, on May the 4th, May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day, we're going to be joined by Blue Shift Aerospace. Uh, the engineering team is going to be sharing with us um, uh, their plans, uh, the data that they're going to be looking for in terms of the, their uh, part and their participation in the rocket launch. So let's actually have a look at how we can jointly design our payloads to, to suit everybody. So yes, once, we, once we're done with the payload sessions, then we're going to look at uh, operations. And this is really going to be around the code that you're going to use for your extended core that you're receiving. Um, the Max IQ team is going to be developing the code. So if you are using all Max IQ hardware, you're definitely going to be able to use that code and you're going to be fly, able to fly your payload using that. If you are developing your own sensors and your own, your own boards, please, um, you need to understand that then you on your own in, when it comes to uh, coding libraries and, and code for, for those payloads. 
So yeah, we are all receiving our kits right now. As you can see, this green board uh, on the left of the photograph, uh, this is the extended core. Uh, you can also see that it, it's flying the exact same ESP32 chip that we had on our starter kit. So this is the uh, photograph of the back of my starter kit. So you can see here the ESP32, it's identical. It's a, a dual processor core. Uh, we also have a camera connection for a ribbon a connector for a camera, a small camera, as you would use with a Raspberry Pi, an SD card interface, um, where we're going to be saving our data. So during the flight, all of the data from your payload is going to be saved on the SD card. Some of the data is going to be transferred to the Kibana dashboard using the downlinks that we're receiving on the rocket, but not all of it. So this SD card interface, you really need to test that and make sure that you're able to save the data to your SD card. Um, and then also there is a there's a, a prototype board interface. This connector over here connects to these prototype boards that you can see bottom right hand side. Everybody is receive, receiving a selection of prototype boards that you can use so that you can actually add your own sensors if you wish. Uh, along with this extended cord, you're also going to receive a standard X chip, which is an accelerometer, giving us acceleration in X, Y, and Z, and a barometer or atmospheric pressure sensor, which is going to give us atmospheric pressure uh, in our payload bay as, as, we, as we fly our payload. And yes, as I mentioned before, prototype boards and a spare USB power and programming interface simply because those are just very useful. And you may want to still be running your starter kit, so you may uh, actually really like to have that spare one. And so, yes, thank you very much. And so the next steps will be when you receive your kit, your flight hardware kit, and we're unpacking that and we're carrying on. Ad Astra.